in this video lecture we will go through insertion sort so first we will go through the visualization of insertion sort then we will go through the code snippet for insertion sort then we will go through the time complexity of insertion sort so the insert sort first selects an element as the key so it starts selecting the element as the key from the one index so first six is selected as the key element then it successively tests the key elements value with its previous elements so here as the key element is six so it will select this one as the previous element so now it compares the key element value with the previous element if the previous element values are larger then the previous elements are shifted one position towards its right so here the queen is shifted one position towards its right now it will go through the previous element so as the array terminates over here the key element will be placed at its position next again it will select the key element so now it will select the four as the key element then it compare the value of four with its previous elements if the previous elements value are larger than four so as here you can see that queen is larger than four so it will be shifted one position towards the right hand side so then it will again compare the previous element with four so as six is larger than four then six will be shifted towards one position so as the array comp terminates over here so the key element will be placed at the zeroth index next it will select 10 as the key element then it will compare 10 with the queen so as the queen is larger the queen will be shifted one position towards the right hand side so as 10 is larger than 6 so 6 will not be shifted and 10 will be placed at the second index next it will select the king sorry queen as the key element then it will compare the value with 10 as the value of queen is more than 10 so it will be placed at its position next it will select the king as the key element so as king is larger than queen so here you can see that it will place it over here so now you will select the five or the fifth index element that is five as the key so here you can see that before this all the elements before five all the elements are these elements are sorted and this element is not sorted so what we will do we will select it as the key element then we will compare its value with the previous elements if the previous elements are larger than five those will be shifted one position towards the right hand side so here you see 10 is larger than 5 so it will be shifted one position towards this so 5 is larger than smaller than 6 so 6 will be shifted one position towards right 5 is larger than 4 so 4 will not be shifted and 5 will be placed now you see the array is completely sorted so let us go through the code snippet for this one so first let us understand the code or logic for insertion sort then we will go through the code so here you see that so we will start from for i equal to 1 so the value of i is 1 next 1 is less than n so here the number of elements is 6 so the value of n is 6 so 1 is less than 6 yes true true means it will get into the body so in the body what it will do it will select key equal to a of i a of i means the value of i is 1 so it will select 6 as the key element then for j equal to i minus 1 so j will start from i minus 1 means i is 1 1 minus 1 is j will be selected as 0 next j is greater than equal to 0 yes 0 is greater than equal to 0 it's true a of j is greater than key you see a of j a of j means a of 0 yes a of 0 queen is greater than the key value that is 6 so this condition is again true true means we will get into the for loop so here what we will do a of j plus 1 equal to a of j means a of 0 plus 1 a of 1 equal to a of 0 sorry a of 1 a of 0 plus 1 a of 1 equal to a of 0 so what it will do first it will compare it as it is larger than the 6 the key element 6 so the queen will be shifted towards one position towards the right so one position towards right means what we will write we will write a of 1 equal to a of 0 so that's what we have written over here a of 0 plus 1 that is 1 equal to 
a of j a of j means a of 0 so from here again we will go to here now j will be decremented by 1 so now the value of j will be minus 1 now let us get into the condition so j is greater than equal to 0 no minus 1 is not greater than equal to 0 so what we will do we will get out of the loop so in out of the loop what we have written a of j plus 1 equal to key so a of j plus 1 j value of j is minus 1 so minus 1 plus 1 means a of 0 so a of 0 is key so at 0th index we will put the key value so now let me iterate through the loop again so from here it will come to here from here it will go to here so i plus plus so what was the value of i i was 1 now the value of i will be 2 so next e equal to a of 2 so here you see the e is equal to a of 2 then for j equal to i minus 1 so we will start j equal to i minus 1 what is the value of i i is 2 so 2 minus 1 is so again j will start from j equal to i minus 1 means j will become 1 next 1 is greater than equal to 0 yes true a of 1 is greater than key so a of 1 so what is a of 1 a of 1 is queen yes queen is greater than 4 so queen is greater than 4 means what we will do a of j plus 1 equal to a of j so a of j plus 1 means a of 2 equal to a of 1 so we will shift the queen one position towards right then again we will decrement the value of j so now when we have decremented the value of j j will become 0 now you come to here 0 is greater than equal to 0 yes true and a of 0 is greater than key yes a of j is 6 6 is greater than the key so what we will do we will increase shift the 0th element to 1th element so a of 0 plus 1 that is a of 1 equal to a of 0 so the 6 is shifted one position towards the right hand side now again the value of j will be decremented so the value of j will become minus 1 so j it will come to here j is greater than equal to 0 minus 1 is greater than equal to 0 no false false means we will get out of the for loop so out of the for loop what we have written we have written a of j plus 1 equal to p what is the value of j j is minus 1 so a of minus 1 plus 1 means a of 0 equal to p now the key will be shifted to a of 0th position so now here you see that here the array is up to this the array is sorted and he up and the right hand side is not sorted so again we will select the key element so let me erase all these things so now you see the value of i was the value of i was 2 so now the value of i will become 3 so now what we will do we will select the key so now key equal to a of 3 yes key equal to a of 3 then again we will go to here j equal to i minus 1 so j will become 2 now 2 is greater than 0 yes 2 is greater than 0 a of 2 is greater than key yes previously we have the queen at that position then we have taken the key element as 10 so yes queen is greater than 10 so what we will do we will shift the queen towards the right hand side shift the queen towards the right hand side means a of j plus 1 that is a of 3 equal to a of j that is a of 2 so the queen is shifted to e. now again the value of j will be decremented so now the value of j will become 1 so now again we will come to here j greater than equal to 0 yes 1 is greater than equal to 0 a of j is greater than key a of j means a of 1 that is 6 6 was greater than the key 6, 6 was greater than the key the key is the key was 10 yes 6 is greater than no no 6 is not greater than the key so what we will do the loop will terminate so we will get out of the loop so here what we have written a of j plus 1 j is 1 so a of 1 plus 1 2 a of 2 equal to e. so you see we have kept a of 2 equal to the key that is 10 so now here you see 
this part of the array is sorted and this part of the array is unsorted so now again from here we will come to here so from here we will go to i plus plus so i plus plus means the value of i will become 4 now the key equal to a of 4 so key will become the this will become the key the king will become the key next j is greater than equal j equal to i minus 1 so the value of j will start from i minus 1 means 3 next j is greater than equal to 0 yes 3 is greater than equal to 0 a of j is greater than p what is a of j a of j is queen a of 3 a of 3 is greater than the key that is the king no a of 3 is not greater than the king so here the loop will terminate and we will get out of the loop so we will directly come to here so here what we have written a of j plus 1 means a of 3 plus 1 that is a of 4 equal to key so you see we have first selected the key so it is not next we have selected this one is the key you see this is not smaller than the queen so it will get out of the for loop and a of j plus one that is at a of four we have placed the king now again we will select this one the fifth index element is the key because the value of i will be incremented it will be incremented to five so now come to here from here 5 is less than n yes 5 is less than 6 it will get into the body so key equal to a of i so key equal to a of 5 so if i will press and enter you see key will become a of 5 let me go through the previous step here so key equal to 5 next what we will do j equal to i minus 1 so j will become what is the value of i 5 5 minus 1 4 i is greater than equal to 0 yes 4 is greater than equal to 0 and a of j is greater than p yes a of j means a of 4 is greater than 5 then what we will do we will go on shifting the elements so here you see i have selected the key element then it will be compared with the previous element if the previous element is larger than the key element it will be shifted towards the right hand side so this procedure continues until we will get the end of the array or oh, we will get an element which is larger than the key element sorry smaller than the key element here you see key element is smaller than 4 sorry larger than 4 so that element is placed at that position next let us go through the course snippet for this one so first we have included the required header files then we have passed the array and the size of the array to the function in source so then we have take declared three variables i p and j so we have started the loop from one so that we can select the key element from one index so i equal to one i less than n i plus plus e equal to a of i then we will select the previous elements and we will compare the previous elements with the key element so if the previous elements is larger than key then we will shift the previous elements towards one position towards the right so after this condition it's not satisfied then we will get out of the for loop and then what we will do we will keep the key element at its proper position next the main function so we have taken a pointer we have taken i and n then we have asked the size of the array then dynamically we have allocated that much amount of memory from keep location then we have initialized the array then we have called the insertion sort so insertion sort will sort the elements then after that we have printed the sorted array now let us go through the time complexity of insertion sort so first go through the best case so the best case arises when the array is already sorted so when the array is already sorted we will select this element as the key element first one so this is the zeroth index one two like this it will go on so we will select the one as the key element so we will compare it with the previous element so the key element as it is larger than the previous element so only one operation is required over here then we will select the tooth index as the key element 
so it will be compared with the previous element so again it requires only one operation because as the array is already sorted the next element is always greater than the previous element so for like this for every one we require only one one operation so the total number of operations is nothing but we go of n minus one total number of operations is n minus one and which is nothing but we go of so the best case time complexity of insert and sort is we go of n and insert sort is prepared when the inputs are online means we will get one input at a time so if in that case we will apply more sort also so you see suppose we are having n number of elements so if we will apply more sort on this you will get we go of n log n then suppose another element comes then what you have to do again if you will apply mod sort then you require we go of n plus 1 log n plus 1 so instead of insertion instead of uh, mod sort if you will apply insertion sort then what you will get you have n elements in order to in order to insert this element to its appropriate position you require at max we go of n plus 1 which is nothing but we go of n operations so when the inputs are online then it's better to use insertion sort and in another case if you know that the inputs are going to get in an increasing order or non decreasing order it's better to use insertion sort than using mod sort or quick sort now let us go through the worst case time complexity of insertion sort the worst case time complexity arises when the array is sorted in reverse order that is in decreasing order so now here you see here you require a single operation but here you you know when this one will become the key then you have to shift this one to here you have to shift this one to here then you can press it over here next for this one when this one will become the key then you have to shift this one you have to shift this one you have to shift this one then at this position you have to insert it similarly for the first element you require one operation for the second element or the third element or second indexed element you require two operation for third indexed element you require three operation similarly for n indexed element you require n operation what is the total number of operation n into n plus 1 by 2 so which is nothing but will go of n square so the worst case time complexity of insertion sort is we go of n square so the best case of insertion sort is we go of n average case is we go of n square and worst case is we go of n square thank you i hope all of you have understood